Our nervous system is how we communicate with the world. It allows us to taste, see, hear, smell and touch. Neural interfaces are devices that interact with our nervous system. They can be placed on the inside or outside of the brain or body and can restore or even change what we're able to do. Early neural interfaces such as cochlear implants and devices to treat hearing loss first emerged in the 1960s. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. <laughs> Daddy is here. Can you hear Daddy? Deep brain stimulation to treat tremors in Parkinson's disease was first approved in the US in 1997. And more recently, experimental treatments have emerged which aim to allow people with paralysis to walk again. They could even take a few steps over ground, hands-free. For me, seeing this recovery was amazing. With increased investment and advances in neuroscience and computing, the technology is being miniaturized and becoming more powerful. In the future, neural interfaces could replace some pharmaceutical treatments, meaning that your prescription could be for a neural interface rather than a drug. You may be able to buy neural interfaces to train your brain to improve your concentration or your memory, and they may allow you to perform better or sleep easier. However, the most extraordinary potential uses of neural interfaces concern how humans interact with technology. These include typing using just our thoughts, the truly remote control of robotics, allowing surgery to be performed from anywhere on the planet, and games played using only the mind that are able to adapt and respond to players' mood and mental state. In the future, it may even be possible to use this technology to communicate sensory experiences. You could send a loved one a neural postcard when on holiday. But the use of neural interfaces also raises some critical ethical questions. Neural data gathered from the brain and body may be considered more private than data collected from smartphones and other devices. This neural data could be harvested for information about someone's emotions or moods. And using neural interfaces could provide people with abilities that exceed the majority of the population. If only accessible for some, they may lead to a more divided society. Humans have always innovated by using our brains to create new technologies. With neural interfaces, we're now turning that process inside out, using new technologies to transform our brains. These technologies might challenge the very essence of what it is to be human. Working out how, and even if we want to use them, requires an open and inclusive debate involving many voices and all sectors of society.